they should be honor themselves. They've been given the privilege of honoring themselves in a society that will allow that now. These are, these are the things that trouble me about this culture and Muslims should be a spark of hope. We should be a beacon of light, not just for people overseas, but for people in this country. When they see the dignity of our dress, when they see the dignity of our behavior, when they see the excellence of our schools, when they see the professionalism of our doctors, of our healers, of our lawyers, when they see people that are ethical at the root and the core, they won't absolve themselves of those ethical responsibilities. Then we'll be a beacon of light and people will say, I want to be like those people. Like that man, we had a man in a, in a 7-Eleven store and a man came in with a pipe trying to steal money from him. And he said to him, he took out a gun, he had a gun. He pulled out the gun and the man stopped, he dropped the gun. And he said, I'm so sorry, I'm just desperate, I don't have any food. That Muslim man gave him $20, $40 and made him promise that he wouldn't steal again. That man who was robbing that man said, I want to be a Muslim. And he said the Shahada right there and then. That's like something you read in the books. Because he treated him like a human being. So we have a lot of work to do. And finally, in conclusion, I want to say to all of you, I've heard a lot of Muslims lately say, I'm so depressed. I was in recently in Arabia and I have a Muslim friend. He was a very active Muslim. And I said, what, what are you doing these days? He said, no, I'm, I just, he said, I've given up. I've had enough. You know, there's no hope. I grabbed him and I shook him literally, physically. And I said to him, what do you mean there's no hope? If you want a bid'ah, hopelessness is a bid'ah. We are a religion of hope. We live on hope. Every time you're depressed or you say there's no hope, what you're saying to every African that was brought over in chains and, and survived the transatlantic crossing and came here and lived in slavery and marched to get their civil rights you're saying to them, that was all a waste of time. If you're depressed, you're dishonoring all those Andalusians who were chased out of what was called paradise at the time. They were chased out of Andalusia, but they made new lives for themselves in Tunisia, in Morocco. And today you have Andalusian families that hail from Andalusia, just like you have Palestinians here that were chased out of their homes. You're dishonoring all of those Indians that migrated to Pakistan with the hope of a better life. You're dishonoring the Afghanis that have lived in over 30 years of war. And they're still trying to hold their heads high. We can't do that. There's no room for hope. I'm in it till the last breath. I'm in it till the last breath. Because I believe in the promise of God. And I testify to the truth of the Sirat that we will be weighed in the balance and there will be those who are found wanting and there will be those who are given grace and there will be the outstrippers. These are all true things that every prophet has taught and I believe in them and I will hold to them till I die and the struggle continues. This world was never meant to be paradise because all of the hardships that you suffer in your life, if you believe in God, you will find those rewards on the day of judgment. I was in Abu Dhabi, a taxi driver said to me, I said, where are you from? He said, Dara'a. And I said to him, I hope that your family's safe. He said the house caved in on them. My father was killed. He said to me, I've worked 12 years. Every month I sent everything I could back to my father to build that house. And it was destroyed. I feel like my whole life is a waste. I said to him, Ya Akhi, Bil Arabiya, Ihtasib and Allah. Wallahi kunta fi birrin bi waradaik. You were in filial piety to your parents. Believe in the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What you're doing is not to build in this world. Man bana li hadihi dunya, faqad khaba ma bana. If you build for this world, what you build will go to naught. We build for the next world, not for this world.
And if what we build, if, if my college in California is destroyed by an earthquake, so be it. So be it. But we are builders for the Akhirah, and this is the place we do it. Jazakumullah khairan wa salamu alaykum.